Well, it's uh, Monday, February 1st here in Japan, and I told you that I'd try to get some footage from over here, so I'm going to do that today. Uh, today off, so I'm about to head to the gym. It's about 11 a.m. I had breakfast at 9. I'm going to have a little Quest bar and a monster, and then take the train over to the gym. So I'll show you guys the train a little bit, and then later tonight I have a dinner. And before the dinner, I'm going to go try to sell some gear at one of the shops. So I think maybe getting some footage from one of the shops, all the cool like VHSs they have, and DVDs, and t-shirts, and action figures, and all the merch they sell, and, and everything like that, I think it would be cool for you guys to see. I'm not sure if you guys have ever had like a inside view. I mean, I'm sure that there's somewhere out there people have, have pictures or video of the shops, but... Uh, I have not personally seen them, so hopefully anybody who has not seen them as well will uh, get to view them through this video. Um, also, uh, I think right now I'm going to show you the view from the room. Here's the view from my room in Tokyo. I'm at the Tokyo Dome Hotel, and there's the Tokyo Dome. And the view of uh, Tokyo Dome City, which has some cool stuff. I've yet to be on that roller coaster, but I'm hoping to in the next uh, next couple tours. So. Uh, I mean, it's great to stay here. I'll try to get another view tonight because it looks even better with everything lit up. So I'm going to finish my food and head down to the train. I'm about to get my train ticket and it's uh, 170 yen, so about a buck fifty, which isn't too bad. Uh, I don't know much about the train systems here, but I do know how to get to the gym and back. I'm at Sudabashi Station right now and I'll take that six stops to Yogi, uh, transfer over, and then hit the gym. Taking the train. It's actually uh, not too busy today, but considering it's before noon on a Monday, I'm sure everybody's at work. Uh, not quite the view yet, but I figured I'd just show you a little bit. Uh, not too many stops here. It takes about 20 25 minutes to get to the gym, so it's not too bad. Uh, I'm in Yogi, waiting on the transfer train, and then it's one stop to Harajuku. And uh, it's coming right now, so I'm going to hop on that, and then we'll film a little bit uh, on the walk to the gym, which is pretty short. On our way to Gold's Gym. The train station is just over there. And then we're headed this way to the gym. Uh, I think this is like a big kind of U.S. shops place. You know, they have some popcorn. Uh, there's a big Nike store over here. Uh, Puma. So stores that you see back home, I might look in that Nike shop at some point when we're here to grab a new pair of kicks. Uh, see if they have any exclusive Jordans over here, because that, that is what I want. But uh, it's a short little walk to the gym, and I like the gym. They have a cool little basement area that's like classic gym, uh, classic gold style. So it's got all the equipment you kind of need. Today's back day, I did chest yesterday. So we're gonna get a workout in and then head back and get my post-workout beef bowl. This has been kind of my regimen here. Back at the hotel today. Uh, I didn't film in the gym because they get kind of touchy about that, taking pictures and stuff. So I didn't want to uh, get kicked out of Gold's because it's the closest gym to here. And uh, I like to train there when we're in Tokyo. So I'm going to sit here and eat a little beef bowl from Sequoia, which is right across from the train station, which is like a minute walk from the hotel. So it's perfect for a post-workout meal. Rice and beef. And uh, let's take a look at it. Here's the beef bowl with my chopsticks, which I can actually eat with, which uh, I'm happy because they always try to give you forks when you're a foreigner over here at first, but uh, it's proper to eat this kind of stuff with the chopsticks, so I choose to eat with chopsticks. I'm going to eat this and then relax for a bit, and hopefully we'll get some view of the store later on tonight. Look at all those Japanese wrestling figures. <laughs> it's beautiful. There's some gems in here. Look, jackets and a bunch of merchandise. I'm just gonna, I kinda took my time gathering, grabbing some stuff, so I'll show you what I grabbed later, but I wanted to give you a quick look at what the store is like. Look. Next time, seaweed to start the dinner. There's some beef going on at the table. Okay. Did we dip in some egg. So, uh, some good food. 
Well, uh, I didn't want to film too much in the restaurant. You know, some people don't want to be on camera, and uh, I don't know if if people will get too offended. So I'm trying to to keep it to a minimum in places, but trying to show you just a little bit of of what's going on here. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in the shops. I'll try to get a better view maybe later on uh, this tour, but I have been collecting action figures from my son, so hopefully he would enjoy playing with with them as he grows up and become a wrestling fan as I did when I was younger because that was kind of my my doorway into the world of professional wrestling was my family giving me a bunch of action figures and I just couldn't put them down um, but there is some that you just can't give up for yourself and uh, as a collector of wrestling things throughout my life uh, I quit for a long time but sometimes you see stuff and you just have to uh, have to grab it so I'm about to show you what I got Number one is a Stan Hansen All Japan figure. I know it's in the plastic, but I don't want to uh, take it out. I just want to leave it in there. So hopefully you can see a little bit. And number two is a Muto and Masawa two pack. So that's pretty badass, I think. Um, any collectors out there, are just people who are fans of of Japanese pro wrestling, I think would uh, appreciate the figures. Well, to finish off the video, I wanted to give you the night view from my room. Uh, as you can see, there's pretty good view.